And back here in Lagos, Christmas service has uh, commenced in uh, various churches. At the household of uh, God International Ministries, uh, Christians dressed in different attires to depict the season. The band here is uh, dishing out praise and worship songs while the members came fully prepared with different dance steps. For Christians, the birth of Christ is a period of rejoicing and sharing of uh, gifts, especially to the less privileged in the society. We turn our attention to Maduguri, the Bonu state capital, where Christians have joined their counterparts around the world to mark the birth of Jesus Christ. For many years, Christmas was celebrated in Loki due to the insurgency, uh, but it appears the dark times are over. Worshippers trooped out in their numbers to attend church service at various worship centers. Key messages from uh, clergymen were uh, centered on sharing love to one another, especially to those in need during the season. Now let's talk to TVC News correspondent in Maduguri, Jesse Tafido, who has been monitoring the celebration there and is going to uh, speak to us about this. Uh, good to have you join us on the news at this time. Compliments of the season. Can you uh, paint us a picture of what the mood like, what the mood is like in Maduguri today? Thank you very much. Uh, it is a celebratory mood in Maduguri, the Bruno State capital. Um, in the morning, the temperature was as low as um, 16 degrees Celsius. And you know, from up north here, temperatures are not as low as this. But today, the weather is very cold in the morning, and worshippers defy the cold weather. They came out in their numbers to attend church services for the Christmas celebrations. You know, this has not been the culture in the past years because of the security challenges. We all know that the, the state has suffered a 13 year of insurgency. Now, uh, on a normal Christmas day in Maiduguri, um, you don't go out with, with your vehicles, you pack them at home, and then you attend church services at churches close to your uh, home because uh, you cannot go by the, the restrictions of vehicular movement. Only those on essential services are allowed to move out during the day. But different is the case today. We see people coming out in their numbers. Security has improved. Uh, that people are happy, excited. You could see the children wearing uh, different uh, clothes. They are happy. Celebrations are in the air. And it is different in my degree this time around. And the joy is everywhere. Mm. All right, uh, uh, Jesse, from what I see here, um, it spoke about uh, the fact that due to insurgency, uh, Christmas was celebrated low-key, and you also mentioned that uh, it's quite uh, different uh, this year. But then there were promises by security agencies to be at their best this season. What are the things you have uh, actually seen that have uh, proved this today? Now, days before Christmas in Medjugorje, there are heavy security presence within the state capital, and um, we could see security agencies moving around, uh, trying to ensure that law and order is being maintained. Uh, the commissioner of police three days ago issued a release uh, telling worshippers and residents of Medjugorje that this year's Christmas uh, celebration will be peaceful, law and order is going to be maintained, and we could visibly see that. Security um, agencies in Maiduguri have done their best, and we could see uh, that everywhere is calm, everywhere is peaceful. People are going about the celebration. Others are out for their business. You know, today is public holiday. People are resting. But it is not so, as I said earlier, that uh, during Christmas season, everybody will be at home because there are always fears of um, suicide, bomb attacks, gunshots. But different is the case now we could see efforts put in place by governments by security agencies and that is what people are grateful for this time around it is not uh, as before it's very much different and we as journalists we've been covering um, christmas during the insurgency and now and we could tell with the atmosphere that things have changed and celebration is in the air mm. All right, I agree with you that uh, things have changed. We're counting on you to bring us more updates as regards the celebration today. TVC News correspondent Jesse Tafida, live for us in Maduguri. Thank you for joining us at this time.
There is no Christmas mood in Lisham Kwahasnata community. That's between Mango and Bokus, local government area of Plateau State. As tragedy struck and at least 16 persons were killed by gunmen over the weekend. According to reports, the villagers who were frustrated by the attacks went after the assailants, leading to the burning of several houses and the destructions of properties in different localities on Sunday. We have our correspondent, Mona.